Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to our spoiler discussion and I guess review for Spider-Man and, and the other guys. Spiderman Part 4 Civil War Part 2 <laughs> Avengers Part 1 Infinity War Part 2. And we're here. We finally get to see Spider-Man first time in exactly 24 months and <laughs> and we're we're here. <laughs> We, we finally get to see Captain America beat the shit out of Iron Man for being a dick. You mean Iron Man being the shit out of Captain America, right? No, I don't mean that at all, you son of a bitch. Are we going to have a civil war right now? Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Oh. Civil gore. <laughs> civil gore. Um, so, all right. Finally, Captain America Civil War is out. I couldn't wait for it. I have Guru here with me. Hey guys, I couldn't wait for it as well. It was I was really looking forward to it. No one cares. Um, oh, so <laughs> no, um, I got him. That's all I, I have with me today. No one else wanted to see it. Just me, and Mr. Uh, Gore. Yeah, just I, it's, it's a it's a small movie, so it's lucky to have us watching it. Because I don't yeah. think not many people are going to watch it this weekend. I think everyone's going out to see Mother's Day. Yeah, Mother's Day. Well, it's Mother's Day weekend, so. Yeah, 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 might as well go. Spend some it. time with your mother. Go see a, a shitty six out of six uh, six percent on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Go ahead, don't check out those. Go check out that. Does it really have a six percent? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But um, what doesn't have a six percent is Spider Man Civil War. So let's talk about 92%. it. Ninety two percent. Yeah, yeah, it has a pretty high score. It actually used to have. It had like a ninety five percent a couple days ago, and then. Some dickhead didn't like it. I guess a couple of dickheads <laughs> didn't like it. Just fuck that shit, man. I didn't like it when uh, Spider-Man showed up and he said, like, hey, guys, zip, zip, zip. That's his web. Zip, zip, zip. I didn't like it. I didn't like uh, that he looked. He, I didn't like I the like shade him. of red that Spider-Man yeah. was. I didn't like the, the, uh, the spider emblems way too small. I don't like it. It is pretty small, actually. Now that I look at it. Yeah, it's fine in the in the movie, though. It doesn't really matter. But okay, all right. Th we're not going to do the spoiler discussion or review in a way where we explain the entire movie because I don't want to do that. Everybody we can, knows we can this just is. do like a TLDR though, like yeah, too long didn't read. Yeah, for he, people that basically, are not hip. basically they want to control the Avengers. Yeah. Captain America says, no, I don't want them to be controlled because what if they become corrupt? There, we don't want to follow their schedule. Environments like. But we could become corrupt as well, and so I think that we need somebody to wa be watching over us. And so they kind of battle out the whole movie, and there's a little guy named Bucky somewhere in there yeah. that Captain America really cares about. And, and Iron Man's like, oh, I'm not so sure about this guy, dude. Well, he's the main reason why everybody starts fighting, pretty much. Every yeah. everything, Everyone separates. Everything that happens in this movie that involves someone getting punched in the face or getting shot with an energy blast or a shield or whatever is because of Bucky. Basically, every time he's causing everything even new additions like black panther and even though ant-man's not new he's new to avengers i guess and even ant-man and and spider-man of course we've mentioned him about 20 times even them they show up to punch people or hit people or crawl inside people's suits or whatever because of freaking bucky barnes winter soldier bucky barnes bucky barnes that's his full name Bucky Barnes. I don't know what his middle name is. But um, Winter Soldier from the last movie, if you don't know. Uh, Captain America's old buddy from the 2011 Captain America, oh, the first man. one. I, ca I can't imagine people going into this movie not having seen the latest Avenger, the Winter Soldier. They'd be so confused yeah. right off the bat about what I, the fuck is going on. I was actually in the theater. A couple of people were confused on who Ant-Man was. <laughs> 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 there was two people in front of me that said, who's that? To whoever they were with. They are like, that's Ant-Man. It and, took me a second. And there was a person right next to me that was by themselves. He was like, huh? I heard him when he showed up. When Paul <laughs> Rudd showed up. Yeah. He's just in the car and it was like, oh. Everybody, <laughs> this one person was like, huh? Well, they well, they got the guy from uh, what, what, what movies are? Forty uh, year old virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I always wanted well, to beat up Iron Man. Is? Finally, less than zero and forty year old virgin can beat each other up. <laughs> that's a that's a Robert Downey Jr. movie. Um, and okay, so you have all these heroes. Towards the end, they do fight, but there's a reason why. Unlike Batman v Superman, which I'm sorry, we're gonna compare it because. It's the you other. Can really, you can really compare all. You lot have to, yeah. Them. You kind of have to. It came out a, a month and a half ago. Yeah. It was uh, 
a movie about two superheroes fighting, and this one it's about more than two, obviously, but it's the two main ones, Iron Man and Captain America fighting. And it has a lot of similar themes about, like, superheroes destroying stuff and, you know, how, how we should, like, what we should do with these superheroes when they destroy too much and start uh, wrecking lives. That was what Batman v Superman was about. And this one is two to a lesser dramatic degree like it's not all about that it's it still has room to be fun and have really likable characters and some I great th- acting i think that was the most important part that made this a straight up better movie is yeah. that yeah i'd say compared to like a lot of different other marvel movies it's one of the certainly darker ones but it still has the lighter tone to it like especially the big battle between all of them was just so much fun yeah. and that's something that i think um, Batman versus Superman was completely missing and that this one completely had though Marvel movies in general are upbeat but it was nice to have those upbeat parts but they weren't overbearing and they still had the serious material to them yeah. so I think it was like a really perfect balance between the two of them yeah it was a really good balance and, and that was the thing about Batman versus Superman when, when they got to the fight you didn't feel like it was well earned at that point you're just like okay I still don't know I mean I kind of see why Batman's fighting but at that point you're like okay at this point, he already knows Superman's really not the bad guy. Why Why are they fighting, really? And it's, it had such a shitty resolution to it. Yeah, I mean, we, I, I don't know if we should spoil it. I'm sure people have seen it by now. But the whole Martha thing is so bad. And there's nothing like that in this where it's just like out of nowhere. Oh, they're not fighting anymore and they're friends again or whatever. It is about the Civil War for the most part, even though there is a Marvel villain in here. Um, but he's not the main focus. It's really more about the the breaking up. I was up. really surprised with the fact that there really isn't like a major villain. Like the villain, like his plan turned out. He just wanted to turn the Avengers against yeah. each other. And, and I th- I thought that I actually thought that was extremely smart. Yeah. Of them to do that, there was no real villain in yeah. the story. And I know that character. Uh, I think his name is Baron Zemo or something. In this, he's not Baron. Zemo, he's just some guy. He's like a soldier or whatever. Um, he's he's actually Baron Zemo. He's credited as Baron Zemo. Oh, okay. Well, in the movie, you find out his name is like something Zemo or whatever. Helmet. Um, yeah, but he's not he's not Baron anymore. He's just a soldier, right? Yeah. Isn't a Baron like some? What is a Baron? Do you know what Baron is? Look it up. It, it, it's some sort of title. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, it does, doesn't matter. He's not what he was in the comics, from what I've heard. He's just more of a, at first, a generic villain. But then you find out later he has a reason for what he did, and he's not like the the mustache twirling villain. He's not like Lex Luthor, where it's just like oh, I'm causing chaos because fuck it. <laughs> like you know, he has he has a reason why he's doing this, which I I really liked. But even though I would say he's a decent villain, he's not amazing. You know. Yeah, like he, uh, he's not somebody that I'm going to remember. Like oh, remember the great Marvel villain of uh, Baron Zemo? Yeah, where he was like, you two should fight. <laughs> Which I think he's going to be completely overshadowed oh, by. Yeah. Uh, it f- it fucks his face. Uh, Ultron. Yeah, Ultron. Yeah. Well, no, not Ultron. No, no. No, who are you remember? About? Remember who? Oh, Loki. No, not Loki. Well, who? The guy that, that's the guy that's going to be in the future movies. His name. Is oh, oh, Thanos. Yeah, Thanos. Uh, well, Thanos. I sure hope his so. Name is, his name was escaping me. They're all building up to this Infinity War where Thanos shows up with a fucking glove and just destroys the world or something like that. I don't Infinity I read Gaunt- the comic. Gauntlet. Yeah, I know the I know what it's called. But um yeah, he's gonna show up with the infinity gems, go rip one off of freaking Vision's head because he has one, and he's gonna shove that shit in the glove and he's gonna be like, Fuck you and destroy everything. It's all leading up to that, which is why I think it's a little weird in this movie they don't really have any of that Thanos stuff in it. Because this is the last... Because I would say this is a very... It's a very much of a Captain America movie, but it's also Avengers. I think they could have gotten away with titling this The Avengers Civil War. Yeah, but even even though I would say Captain America is definitely the focus here. Because yeah, he's, he's the one it, that you follow the most. It's just a much focus on Tony Stark and you know, what's going on with him. Yeah, as I mean, there is with Captain America. I'd say there's only really two scenes where they focus on him. The one in the beginning with uh, the person that says, "Hey, you killed my son," pretty much that that part. And I would say, of course, the Spider-Man stuff. But that was even more focused. But even on like when he when he goes to the prison, that's really focused on him. Yeah, but it's also uh, focused on the, the, the a other. A lot of the scenes with there in the um, um, but when um they're in interrogating Bucky Barnes. Yeah. He's still a big focus in that scene. It's not completely about 
Captain America. So I think they could have really yeah. gotten away with calling this the Avengers Part Three Civil War. And you know they could have, they, and they would have probably made more money, but they didn't because they wanted yeah. to make a Captain America movie. And, and towards the yeah, end, which which yeah, the plot does more associate with what goes on in Captain America's yeah. background. So and I if it ends it in a very Captain America way, where it's just like, oh, there you go. Let's uh, next adventure. Which uh, I guess the next one would be for all these characters, Infinity War. Because I, I like I like how they end up on bad notes, and then at the very end, it like Tony Stark just gets like a little text message, "Hey, bro, like sorry about that shit, yeah. dude. I was just going through some stuff, like yeah, no hard cool. feelings. We cool, homie. You know, we hang out, watch, you know, eat some bowling, watch the next DC movie. You know, we should just <laughs> hang out. And I would love it. The, I would love in this universe." Where there's no Marvel, of course, because they're the Marvel characters, but they make movies about uh, superheroes, and it's all DC characters. <laughs> like, like uh, <laughs> Captain America's just like, yo, you want to go see the new Batman v Superman movie? And Tony's like, oh, was, oh, not really. I heard it's shitty. See Mother's Day. Nah, I heard that's shitty. Yeah, let's go see <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> I heard Keanu's better. Let's just go see that. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Um, so, all right. So, it is a Captain America movie. Uh, it follows Captain America as he, once again, is trying to get his buddy Bucky, Winter Soldier from the last Captain America movie, uh, back, trying to make sure he doesn't get hurt. Because there's a whole thing where something happens with the Winter Soldier where he, he may be framed or whatnot by, uh, from, for uh, blowing something up. I don't want to give too much away. We're in spo- it's spoiler the discussion, plot. but we don't need to explain everything. Yeah, I don't think we need to explain the whole plot. I think yeah. we can really just get into like what well, we like about the movie. Yeah, which... I, was, I was I was building up to something I wanted to say um, like... because it's one thing I actually liked. It, it's all about the Winter Soldier and Captain America relationship more than any other relationship in the movie. I would say, uh, and I I really like that. My main problem is that we don't get too much of that because. Most of the movie, Winter Soldier is like just a, a psycho, a psycho killer, that that forgot stuff and then uh, he, he's okay and he remembers stuff and he's palling around with Steve. But um, I really like this character. I like I like that uh, relationship the most. I, I would relationship explored more as well. Like yeah. they had that one little scene where they're in the elevator and they shared their little quips with each other, remembering about the past. But yeah. a huge portion of the movie is just them fighting side by side. And really not largely interacting with each other. Yeah. Which um, I would have liked to see more interaction between the two of them. Yeah, but they, they had a lot to do in this movie, obviously. Um, they wa- Or a lot they wanted to do in this movie. Um, so yeah, that, w- that was probably one of my favorite parts, though. I wanted to see more of that. Um, other stuff I like. I, re- I really lo- love the action. The action was excellent in this movie. Um, oh, the action was spe- spectacular. Especially... Especially the big fight scene between yeah. the two sides was probably one of the better Marvel action sequences that I've seen. And I actually really liked how it started because it didn't it didn't start the way the trailer made it seem like it would start, where they just, where they like, just run at each yeah, other. Yeah, where they, they run at each other. Eventually, gets like them, yeah, like running at each other. But yeah. it starts out in a very smart fashion, like introducing each of the characters into the fight. Yeah, I and really that like there's that. little side fights to go on, and then they finally get together and I, duke it out. I like it. everybody got to kind of interact with one another. Like Spider Man fought Ant Man, Ant Man fought Iron Man, Iron Man fought um, um, of course Cap. Uh, he had a, a bunch of different interactions. Black uh, Panther fought Captain America and Winter Soldier, and, and even um, like Black Widow fought Hawkeye. You know, there was a bunch yeah. of a bunch of different characters that may or may not have fought in the past fighting either again or the first time this time i thought that was interactions were cool and i like that it was it was very quippy like of course when spider-man shows up he doesn't shut the hell up and i like even uh, uh falcon says like man do you you realize when we're fighting you shouldn't freaking talk he's like sorry man and i, I like I, I definitely like this i like we can talk about spider-man a little bit now like yeah. i really like this rendition of spider-man in that He's not like this completely confident jokester. He's not like a twenty-eight-year-old yeah. pretending to be in high school. Like it's a little kid. Yeah, he's still. Like, he's he, like I think school. he's actually. I think he's in real life. I think he's like sixteen. Yeah, it's like it's just like this little kid, and he's not like completely confident, but he still has these quips. And I think it's. I think it's a very interesting Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I really like uh, this uh, version of Peter and uh, Spider-Man, even though we don't get much of. Uh, this is gonna sound weird, but we don't get much of Peter in the movie. But um, uh, we got a lot of Spider-Man, and he's great. I would say, even though obviously most of 
what he was doing, he wasn't actually doing. There was a lot of CG with uh, Spider-Man. Did you notice that? Yeah, I know. There's, yeah, of course, yeah. there's a lot of CG. Yeah. But no, no, no. Not just when he's flipping around. There's times where it looked really weird when he was standing around and like... Like, like moving around, like, I, I don't know, maybe it was just me. Just the way his suit looked, it might not be CG, but the way it looked, looked very plasticky in a way. Uh, yeah, you know, no, I, I, I understand that as well. Yeah. I, I felt the same way with Ant-Man as well. I think, like, I think Paul Rudd was on set for, like, a day filming, yeah. I feel like. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. It, and then that was it. Like, he was, he, like, I'm, I doubt he was actually playing himself in the suit. I'm, I'm sure it was just, like, a stunt actor. Well, all right, there's one part. And this is actually probably my favorite part in the movie, uh, besides the relationship. I'm talking about more just like the oh wow moments. Um, my favorite oh wow moment is when he turns into Giant Man. I did um, not see that coming. That was I, fucking fantastic. See, I, I I hate that I I knew this because they Marvel fucked up big because that would have been such a <laughs> cool moment. They messed up big because they released a Funko Pop of Giant Man before the movie came out. And then everybody's like, oh, Giant Man's in the movie. And I'm just like, come on, man. I that was a good thing I didn't see that. Because Giant Man, like, I don't know much about Ant-Man, but I've heard of, for some reason, I've heard of Giant Man. It might be from a cartoon or something, like, or just because it's called Giant Man, I just... I think, I mean, I think it is an Ant-Man comic, so you can turn big as well. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, no, I know, definitely. But no, I never read the comics, but for some reason, Giant Man sounds like something I know. Maybe it's just because it's called Giant Man, and I'm just like, it's just a giant dude. I can't wait to see that. And when it happens, it's it. not only is it really funny, because Paul Rudd is great at comedy, uh, especially if he, he wasn't in the suit and he was just like doing voiceover. He does a really good job with that. Yeah, um, no, it's great. Yeah, but when <laughs> when that happens and like Spider-Man's like, hey, you ever see Empire Strikes Back when they took down the... That was what do you call it? Yeah, everybody in my theater is cracking up. Then. Yeah, but what do you call it? You call it like that big giant thing? <laughs> the gi- big giant camel thing? Oh, yeah, the big giant camel thing. And, they- and, and Tony's and they're like, how old is this kid? And Tony's, <laughs> <laughs> Tony's like, oh, he's young. And, and then they knock it they down. Like, him. Yeah. He's young. Yeah, he's young. Um, and then they, yeah, they knock it over like one of the, uh, what do they call it, ad ATATs, I call AT- them ADATs. 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 <laughs> ATATs, ADATs, AT-ATs. whatever. I think ADATs sound better. But, um, all right. So, mm-hmm. that was probably my favorite, like, oh wow, like, funny moment. Um, but there's yeah, tons that was of. fantastic. Yeah, there, there's a ton of funny moments, especially in that, that fight scene. Um, just a lot of quips being thrown around, a lot of characters interacting. Like, there's a part where Spider Man interacts with Captain America, and it's like, Captain America asks him, hey, hey, kid. You got heart. Where are you from? He's like Queens. He's like from. I'm from Brooklyn. And it's just like little interactions like that that were really nice. Um, Especially the after credit scene where oh, yeah. he's like, "Oh, dude, I fought. Oh, mom, I or Aunt May, I fought this guy from Brooklyn, and he had a friend that was huge. <laughs> oh, he was huge. Yeah, this guy Steve, and he beat my ass. <laughs> that was really good. Um, and yes, there is an after credit scene. There's two actually. There's one that's kind of. And then the last one is just Spider-Man will return, which is yeah. the one we were just just, just basically saying, yeah, we're making a Spider-Man movie, guys. Yeah, and uh, we for were like the that. third time in the century. I would have liked if they didn't tell us already that we're, they were going to make a Spider-Man movie, because I knew they would have anyway. But I would have liked that to be like officially announced at the end of this movie. They already yeah, also uh, like gave a date for it as well. Yeah, they already announced the freaking title of it too, which is was it Spider-Man Homecoming, which is you know, a good title. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, so all the Spider-Man stuff I thought was great. It's probably the best depiction of Spider-Man so far. Who knows? They might screw it up in the movie, but right now it's the best depiction of Spider-Man I've seen. Yeah. Tom Holland has done really good. Especially since he, I think he's, uh, just like, um, uh, the last guy who played him. What's his name? Andrew Garfield. Uh, he's British too. So there you go. You got two British yeah, and, people and in a row. It's, it's like a, it's another unique in, in a movie sense. It's un, another unique spin on Spider-Man, which I really like. Yeah, yeah. And when I heard he was cast, I was a little worried, but then I was like, you know what? I've seen that actor in movies before. He was in that movie, The Incredible, or, or no, The Impossible, not The Incredible. If you see that movie, <laughs> it ain't incredible. Uh, it's a good movie, but <laughs> it's about a disaster. And he was really good in that. Um, so I was I was happy to see he's really good in this, and he he does good with like a a Queen style accent. Um, even though he, do, he doesn't do it like it's not cartoony, you know. Yeah. Um, he does a good job. Uh, he's he's really good as both Peter and Spider Man. He's not in it too much, but he's good. He's a good Spider Man, and uh, I'm looking forward to Spider Man Homecoming quite a bit. Oh yeah, definitely as well. Yeah. Now, okay, the the battle 
was really good. What else did we like? Um, yeah. I really like. I I think you said this before. I really like that they took a different turn with the ending. Like I think the ending, like twenty twenty five minutes of the movie, was really really well done and went a completely different direction than I thought it would go in. Right. Because I thought that they were. I thought that they were going to clearly go in the direction like, oh, the guy is going to bring back all the super soldiers and they're going to have to fight off all the super soldiers together. But no, it went yeah. into a completely different direction. I right? really like, like that. They made, it went in a direction that I did not think it was going to go in. Yeah, that you know what? That's one thing I really liked is that it made it seem like he was trying to rebuild Hydra. Like I was like, that's what he's going to do. He's going to unlock the, these guys and revive them. There's like five soldiers that are very similar to uh, Bucky, where they're like super soldiers, but like even better. Um, and it, the whole plan, it seems like that Zemo's trying to do is get there so he can unlock those five and like start Hydra up again. We're just assuming this because we don't really know yet. And then you find out, no, he just wanted to go there to kill off the remaining winter soldiers and, uh, pretty much end Hydra and end uh, all superheroes ever because his family was, uh, I'm assuming killed in Sokovia. Yeah, Sokovia. Yeah. Which a lot of, they really built... They really built a lot of like people dying around Sokovia, which makes sense because they dropped an entire fucking city. <laughs> but, I mean, um, it's tragic, but my favorite thing is it just so ha- it ju- like talk about being at the hmm. right place at the right time. Tony Stark Panther? just walks around the corner. There's only the elevator, and she just turns around. My son was in Sokovia, and he died thanks to you. I'm like, jeez, <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe she knew. <laughs> he's 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 gonna come to this uh. Bathroom. This exact bathroom. Yeah. I'm gonna stand at this exact elevator. Yeah. I could be like, yo, one or my son happened to be yeah. Sokovia. There's a lot there's a lot of the coincidences, like like Black Panther just showing up. Like I, I like that Black Panther, no one knows he's Black Panther. No one knows he's like a superhero. And he just shows up like at some thing for uh, what was it? Nigeria. Well, uh, he he was there for a reason. His no, father... he was there for a reason. But he wasn't there to do anything besides stand around. So he was just there to, I guess, watch over everybody. But I like how, like, Zemo didn't do it just because he wanted to kill uh, Black Panther's father. He, he, you know, even at the end, he says, like, oh, I'm sorry about your father. You know, whatever. Um, I just like that it's so coincidental that Black Panther now has a reason to put the Black Panther suit on and go kick some ass. I just, I, I felt like it was, I, I'm not saying this is negative, it just felt very coincidental that he was there in the first place. Yeah, Which, uh, no, I, I think, I think you could argue that's coincidental. Yeah. No, no, I, 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 I understand he's there for a reason. I'm just saying, like, of all the places for a bomb to explode, you have to ex- blow up his father, the <laughs> one person in probably the entire city besides, of course, the superheroes we already know, that can, that is like a, a badass I don't even know what Black Panther's supposed to be. He's just supposed to be a guardian. I think that's what he said. He's yeah, like, guardian oh, of. Um, yeah, yeah uh, of. Oh, wow. What the, the, the oh, wow? We're racist. Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> there you go. We're racist. We're racist because we don't remember every single city, country, continent. It in was the in. World. It was in Lados, I think. Somewhere in Lados. Lados. Yeah, that, that's where the. That's where there's, the. There's a lot of. There's a lot of states and <laughs> countries and cities. God damn it! <laughs> anyway, Black Panther. I just felt it was a little coincidental, but um, I don't. It's not really even a negative. That that is nitpicking like a mother because it doesn't even matter. Because when he shows up and he puts on the suit, I'm like, oh, he's so cool looking. Yeah, that suit was so cool. <laughs> it was so cool. It's probably the coolest suit of any of them ever. Yeah. Any any suit in any uh, movie ever. That's the coolest. I yeah. want I want a Black Panther suit. I think his I think his introduction was really cool. I I like that now he's a part of the universe. Yeah, and he, I didn't know I don't know much about Black Panther because like I don't, don't read comics and so I yeah. don't know much about that. But I thought it was really cool. The only thing I know about him is I watched a they had like a cartoon movie about him like ten years ago at this point. I watched I don't remember much about it, but I remember it being kind of good, and I liked it, and it was pretty cool, and he had claws. Beat up some guys. Oh, I also know that in the Last Avengers, uh, remember Andy Serkis from that movie? Remember he got his like arm cut off. I don't know if you remember him. I don't think I remember. Yeah, not many, not many people remember a lot of stuff that happened in the Last Avengers. But uh, there's one character in there. If you ever see Avengers two again, there's one character that is actually going to be the villain for the Black Panther movie. 
Uh, and uh, I wish they, I wish they said at the end of the the what was it the first the first end credit scene or whatever the uh, what do they call them again the uh, whatever anyway that that first end credit scene where Black Panther is with Captain America I wish it said there, Black there it is base yeah Black Panther will be back. In the future, or yeah, whatever. I hope he gets his own movie. That would be a really cool yeah. movie. I think they anna- they they announced it, but they keep pushing it back. Like they pushed it back for Spider Man next year. And I okay. think I think now we're not going to get it until twenty eighteen, which wow. sucks because he's really think, good at this. Yeah, I think I I would be really looking forward to that movie, especially. Yeah, so maybe maybe he'll show up in another movie in the future, but I, you know, before his his movie, but I I highly doubt it. So it's going to be a little while. But um, yeah, no, Black Panther was great. His introduction was great. I really liked uh, Chadwick Bosman. That's the guy that played him. He was good. Really good. Yeah, has he been in anything else? Because I didn't necessarily recognize him. He was in Gods of Egypt. I did not yep. see that. <laughs> no, he was in uh, He was in a couple good movies. He was in 42, the Jackie Robinson one. Okay. Uh, yeah, he played I Jackie I, Robinson. I, I need to admittingly see that. Yeah, that was a good movie. Uh and he played Jackie Robinson, uh, and he played uh, he played his first two roles in any movie. He played two of the most popular African American like stars in the world. He played Jackie Robinson, and then he played James Brown. <laughs> and now he's playing a- another one, another popular real like and another one. Yeah, and another one, and another one. Yo, you just played yourself. That's memes. That's memes, everyone. Memes on memes on memes. That's that's what we're all about. We're memes. We're topical. We're funny. We're <laughs> one of those things, maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, no. Uh, he, he's a great actor. I'm glad he uh, he's in a movie where people will watch him and go, "Oh, right on, right on, brother." And not brother like you know race, racial or anything. Just like you know. Yep. Okay, so before this Black gets more Power, cases, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, what? So I what said Black you, Power. So 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 Black what, Power is good. So 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 Oh, what fuck you. We, what didn't we like about I meant like movie? Black Panther Power, you know. Okay, besides your besides your dislike for black people, what, what else do we not I said like Black Power. <laughs> you know what? I hate Black Panther. There you go. If I'm going to be racist, then fuck it. <laughs> anyway, what else did I didn't like? I didn't like uh Falcon. I thought he sucked. Don Cheadle was terrible. I thought he was awful. Don Cheadle. You know who I really liked, though? All the white people. They were all really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, what, did, what didn't you like about the movie? Okay, well, I liked a lot of stuff. There's a lot of really yeah. funny dialogue. There, there was more that I liked that I didn't like. Like, oh, yeah. a lot of what I did like was nitpicky. Like, yeah. I'd say the number one thing is I felt like they tried to fit in way too much into one little movie. All right, I, like, there was a lot that happened. Yeah, there was a lot that happened. I should say this here because I haven't, I haven't expressed this, but this probably is my favorite Marvel movie. I, I really did it's love this there, movie, definitely for me. It, right now, I have to watch a couple more times because I usually do that with Marvel movies I really like or, or even love. Oh God, kill me! <clears throat> I really love this movie, and it's not just because I'm a huge fan of Captain America, which I am. Ever since the first one, I was like, this is the best Avenger. I don't give a shit. Tony Stark, yeah, he's funny. That, that's his character. He's funny. He has quips. He, he goes, eh, eh, blah, 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 and then you laugh. I get that, and I like him. But Captain America is the most human character of any of the Avengers, even more so than the more human ones like Black Widow. You know, Black Widow is just a human. You know, Hawkeye, more human than any of them. He's more relatable, in my opinion. Um, and you feel, mo- I, at least me, I feel more for Captain America than anybody else. E- even if they crack jokes or whatnot, or someone dies in their family or whatever shit, uh, I feel more for Captain America. Uh, he's a and- very smartly designed leader. Yeah. Because he's so, he's the most relatable Avenger to any of us, because his only big power is that he's, he's, a, he's, he's a super soldier, so yeah, he's strong, but he's he strong. still suffers from very human problems yeah. he's he's a very human character and so that's what makes him like so relatable yeah. and that's what makes him such a great character and he i mean he does his he does his job he does it he does good he's a good boy but there's every movie it seems like something bad happens like in captain america one of course you know he, he crashes and he lost you know the, the person he loved and his, all of his friends from the 40s and his other friend of course bucky and then in the second one he finds out his friend is a maniac that 
survived, which he's happy brainwashed about that. Maniac. Brainwashed yeah. maniac that he has to fight and maybe kill. He doesn't know. And he also finds out that his girl is still alive and she's really old. <laughs> she's very <laughs> old. Ancient. Yeah. Uh, and now this one, she, his, his, old, his girl dies. Which I felt really bad for him at that point when he goes to yeah, the funeral. Yeah, like, wow, so you just like kind of almost lost everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you still you still got um, you got Bucky. I mean, he's killing him, motherfucker, but he's he's still there. And I thought I really thought Bucky was gonna die in this movie. Oh, I was. I thought he did die. Yeah. Oh, you mean when his arm gets ripped off? Yeah, I thought he died then. And yeah, then, oh, oh, I'm sure. I, I was. I wasn't like, oh, he's dead because his arm got ripped off. <laughs> Yo, but I think at this movie, they seriously made me think that Tony Stark was going to die at one yeah. point. They also made me think that, uh, what's his name, Don Cheeto was going to die. And then immediately they jump cut to him going into a, an MRI machine or whatever. I'm like, he's awake, though. He's alive. <laughs> but they're like, oh, no, he's paralysis, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's, and, and, and then Tony Stark's like, paralysis? I'm fucking Tony Stark. He's not paralyzed. And I'm like, yeah. okay. I got robot limb things. Which you think they, he would give, you know, he would sell that? Which I, I'm assuming he does. So I better never ever see another wheelchair in Marvel movies ever again. If I do, I'm gonna be pissed because they should all be walking because of the magic of whatever the hell that was at the, the end. Of the magic of Tony Stark. <laughs> the magic of Tony Stark. He puts a thing on your legs and you're just like, I can walk. Look at me. Well, I think this. I think this proves how much you like this movie because we we started talking about the negatives and you're like, you know yeah. what? You know what? Oh, no, I'm not that. done. <laughs> I got more. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that part where uh, did, uh, I really like it, uh, but um, I, yeah, because I wasn't done really with the positives. Okay, let's get into negatives. If we have more positive, we'll talk about them. Yeah, I think I think you've covered a lot of my positives. Yeah. And um. All right. Negatives. You know what? Tony Stark is more relatable in this movie and really likable. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the, uh, I can't think of any real negatives. I, the only negatives I really. T- I really have. I already discussed. Like, I wanted to see more of that Winter Soldier and and Captain relationship. Um, and what was my I'd other one? Oh, Black I, Panther was just there. Yeah. yeah. Well, to me, it, I had two pretty two negatives for me that are kind of nitpicky. First off, I talked to you about this before we started recording this. When did when did um Captain America really find out about Tony Stark's parents being killed by yeah. the Winter Soldier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when, like when was that shown? Because yeah. maybe I wasn't paying enough attention in the Winter Soldier, but <laughs> as far as I know, that was never shown. You know, it'd be so much bullshit if you have to watch Agents of Shield to fi- find that out or something. <laughs> oh that'd my be God. that'd be so shitty. That'd be so dumb. Yeah, because I'll never watch that. It, it's uh, just kind of like the motivation for that final fight. It was like, Captain Anchor, why don't you just tell him that I didn't know instead of just like saying. Okay, I did know. And then me going, how did you know? Because I think that at that point, Tony, every time he like Captain America would say no, he'd just be like, you're a goddamn liar. I, I have a feeling because he, he was so raged because Tony just finds out that Winter Soldier killed his parents. Even though, I mean, I would be mad, but I wouldn't be like, you're the reason why they're dead because you just randomly went out and murdered them. Like he should know at that point, like someone was going to kill them either way. Right. And also that he should know that. Um, Bucky was brainwashed. Yeah, well, I think he's smart enough to have known that by now. So you should know, like, oh, you weren't under control of yourself. I don't blame you. I think he's smart enough to know that. Yeah. And so I, th- I do think it's kind of a stretch that he would go that berserk off of seeing that video. I think he would be more understanding, being like, oh, okay, you were brainwashed. And well, it wasn't actually him. And they even tried telling him that. It's like, why doesn't he believe him when they said that? He clearly knows that Bucky had been brainwashed in the past. That was. I'm pretty sure that was common knowledge. And that was even, they even knew that from the film. And when they showed him getting brainwashed and going ape shit like that. Yeah, yeah. But it, when Tony finds out, you can kind of see some conflict. Like, it, like not really with Winter Soldier. He's pissed at him. He wants him dead. But you can see, like, there's conflict between, like, should I fight Cap or should I not? Like, yeah. there, was, there was a second there where he, he, he didn't immediately just punch Captain in the face. Uh, he he did pretty fast after Captain say I did no. Yeah, but he was like he was like mm. he, he thought about it for a second and he's like nah fuck it. <laughs> he's like we need one more action scene come on and that was a really good action scene too I really liked it. But um <laughs> back to positives uh no <laughs> I'd say then the other thing that I didn't like is 
yes, I loved I loved seeing Spider Man. Yes, I loved seeing Ant Man. There wasn't much of a reason for them to be in the movie other than them just to be in the movie. Like, if you were to remove them from the plot, from the story, it wouldn't change whatsoever. They're in there to basically appease fans. Like, I would have liked if they more wrote them into the story to have some effect on the story. But it was really just like, oh, each side needs one more person to fight. Let's just get these two bozos that people know about in the universe to fight. And that's literally all that they do. These two bozos. (laughs) Uh, Well, you know what? I agree with Spider-Man in some way because I wanted there to be, and this really isn't that much of a negative because we're probably going to get it in the next one, but I wanted there to be more of a, uh, because I heard Iron Man's going to be in the Spider-Man movie. Did you hear that? Oh, okay. That's pretty good. There you go. Um, Well, he's supposed to appear. But um, I wanted there to be more of that Iron Man and Spider-Man relationship, and I would have liked it more if they did, because Iron Man already knew about Spider-Man, because there's one part where Black Widow's like, hey, you have someone else to have, just in case, you know, things go wrong between Captain America and and you or whatever, and we start fighting. So he's just like, I got someone else. And he just, out of nowhere, is just like, Spider-Man. There you go. He, he just he shows up to this kid's house and goes, hey, we need you. Join. I would have liked it more if, like, in the beginning of the film, he, he starts to learn about, like, Spider-Man. Like, he just sees on, like, his phone, like, someone videotapes something on and put on YouTube of this guy just being a vigilante. And then he's like, huh, that's weird. And then, you know, that's a little foreshadowing for later. He's going to recruit him. It, it just felt out of nowhere. Just like, all right, let's get Spider-Man. Like, it felt like that might have be, even been, like, filmed later. And then they had to maybe retool the action scene at the end and just, like, put Spider-Man in there. I don't yeah. know. That's what it felt like. I'm sure that's not actually what happened. But um, that's probably the only problem with Spider-Man I have. I don't feel like he's not necessary because I don't feel like anybody is necessary besides Cap, Winter Soldier, and Iron Man, really. But the thing is, the others were worked into the plot in some way. Like, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. say the same thing. Like, Hawkeye wasn't really into Yeah, Hawkeye just showed up. <laughs> Hawkeye just, like, literally showed up out of nowhere and was like, hey, guys, I'm in this shit. Fuck you. I, or, uh, fuck, yeah, fuck you, Iron Man. Yeah. Like, I, I just would have liked to see them more involved in the plot than they were. Like, especially, like, Spider-Man and Ant-Man, because it literally was just like, uh, so it seems like the teams are uneven. Uh, we need to add, like, yeah. one more person. I can uh, see who, that. Who, who do we have in the Marvel library? Oh, yeah, Ant-Man just had a movie. Let's put him in the fight. Yeah, that's what it kind of felt like to me, and I'd like I would have liked Ant Man to actually be have been more integrated into the entire plot of the movie. I, yeah, I could see that definitely. Um, but I don't know, like Ant Man showing up, like it, like Ant Man himself made more sense because at the end of Ant Man the movie, like uh, you had that after credit scene, which is just a scene from this movie, uh, where he's just like uh, Falcon's like, hey, I know a guy. Even though that happened, that doesn't happen in the in in Civil War. That scene, that scene does happen, but the dialogue doesn't happen in that scene. If that makes <laughs> sense. Does that makes sense. Like oh, that yeah. scene happens, but there's a piece of dialogue in Ant Man where he's like, "I know a guy." That doesn't happen. Fuck it, whatever. Anyway, point is, they built that up in the last Ant Man movie, like he was gonna appear in this movie. So I, I'm okay with that. In Spider Man's case, it's just he shows up. Like, he's there. Iron Man knew about him the entire time. We didn't know that before until we see him for the first time. That's the only problem I have with Spider-Man. Everything else, like Ant-Man, he does show up out of nowhere, but they need him just to balance it out. I get it. But uh, at least they built it up in Ant-Man. Yeah, they said, like, they may need his help later. Um like, oh, wow. like I, I definitely love seeing them. The, oh, yeah. the action that they did have was absolutely fantastic. Like, yeah, man, it was my favorite thing in that whole yeah. action scene. Me too. Especially yeah. him getting gigantic. But I just would have liked to see them integrated into the plot more. What? But otherwise, like, yeah, I think, yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. I think it's up there with one of the better Marvel movies. Now, would Ant-Man be a bigger, like, would you like Ant-Man more if you didn't already see the Ant-Man movie? Like, say the Ant-Man movie came out next year, and this is the first time you see Ant-Man, just like the first time we see Black Panther and Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. I think it'd actually kind of suck. Would it? I think Because it he would. shows up, and you're like, oh, Paul Rudd, he's Ant-Man. And then the first time you see Ant-Man, you know, turn small I, I thought it would have felt like a really empty character. Really? Because, I, I think know. the I think the character development did really good for him in Ant-Man. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get that. But uh, just like in Spider-Man, Spider-Man, he does the exact same thing with Ant-Man. 
I mean, as Ant Man, you know, like Ant Man just makes quips and makes funny jokes, and Spider Man does the exact same thing, you know. So <laughs> maybe it's just because we knew Spider Man more because we've had five other movies, and well, we've had it's just kind of like at this TV point we shows. know we know what Spider. I think everyone can recite Batman or not Batman Spider Man's backstory yeah. by heart. I think everyone can recite Batman's as well. Yeah, yeah, that too. So parents like, get shy, he gets upset. He's a bat. I think you can almost excuse not having character development for Spider-Man, but I think if they went in with Ant-Man without like any development to him prior, I think it. I think if they just went in with this without the previous movie coming out, I think it would have been an awful cameo. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. I just thought it would be like if they. I'm not saying if it was the exact same, like the exact same stuff in this movie. Um, like maybe if they changed some stuff and made it make more sense why he's there. It's just like a big surprise, like, oh, Ant-Man, first time we see him, and then next one we get some more, or whatever. But, yeah, I, I yeah, I get it. Like, um, like, I get that also, like, Black Panther was introduced into this movie, but he was at least given some some form of conflict to yeah. put him into the plot, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, 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 definitely. Even, yeah, 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 yeah. I liked all of it. I liked everything, even the stuff I give negatives to. I only say it as nitpicks because I really have no big negative in this movie. Okay. I, I really enjoyed pretty much all of it. It, it was really long, but it didn't feel long. It fe- it's exactly the same length as Batman v Superman, and it doesn't even feel yeah. as long. I think Batman may be five minutes longer, but it feels like Batman's like maybe an hour longer. My overall thoughts on this is, is it was a very fun movie. I love seeing all the Marvel characters. Yeah. I'm still not tired of them. I Me like neither. seeing the new additions. I love seeing Ant Man now interact with the Avengers cast. Yeah, I love seeing. Great. I love the new. I love Spider Man. I like. I'm looking forward to the new Spider Man now. I'm looking forward to anything with Black Panther in it. I'd say I overall liked it. Besides my nitpicky complaints, um, I overall liked it. I give it a solid. Probably between an eight point five and a nine, more okay. leaning towards a nine for me. Eight point eight. Yeah. There you go. That'd be about good. Solid eight point eight. Eight point eight nine. <laughs> Real good. Eight point eight nine seven. Oh. Nice. All <laughs> right. So I loved it. I thought it was terrific. If I had any other problems, it'd be real nitpicky, but uh. I don't know. The vision wasn't used as much. There's a part in in the the battle, even though it was amazing, where the vision doesn't do shit. Did you <laughs> notice that the vision, the the vision? Yeah, uh, that's a game. Vision, because <laughs> I think vision would be way too OP in the battle. I yeah. think that's why they didn't include him. But he that shouldn't much. have even showed up until the end, if that was true. Like he should have showed up at the end where the battle's kind of like slowing down, and then like maybe that's how Captain uh, Winter Soldier like kind of get away into the whatever the hell it was called, uh, the airplane jet thing. Um, and yeah, no, the vision, I keep saying, it sounds like I'm the saying division. the division. <laughs> Goddamn Tom, just Col- say vision. Tom just Colancy. Don't, don't say the vision, just say vision. Vision was, I liked him, especially when he had his, his little sweater on and he's trying to be like, that was hilarious. regular humor a human <laughs> humor he had humor too but uh, I, I like I, my favorite part is after like the big bombing and everything yeah out, just oh let's see paprika. Uh, put some paprika in there <laughs> <laughs> and scarlet witch and uh vision are obviously having a, a little moment. romance budding which is cute i think that makes more sense than fucking hulk and black widow but it does it does because <laughs> like they, they actually had, had chemistry yeah and they both have the same exact powers pretty much right yeah. Um, well, they're both all powerful beings that people fear, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and, and and they had some nice little chemistry. I liked it. They yeah. Should, they should fuck. But anyway, um, I really liked pretty much all of it. I loved a lot of it. It yeah, was I amazing. Enjoyed a great mu- I enjoyed it a great bunch. A great bunch. Me too. I'm going to give it, I'll probably give it, uh, I, I, I'm really close to a 10, but I'll give it a 9.5. I really okay. loved it. Um, what do we want to see in the next one though? Like um, Avengers, I guess, because Avengers Part One, Infinity War Part One, will be uh, will can be... we just see Thor and Hulk come back? Yeah, and then I'm sure they'll bring the Guardians of the Galaxy in there somehow. And like, I'm I'm really worried that like they're working that like Captain America is going to be separated from them. I really hope it's not just Pixar pulling from 
Hey, Cap, yep, come over here, bye. And then he's just <laughs> over there, and, like, nothing changed. It's like, okay. I, I feel like that's why they're doing part one and part two, because I think part one... Actually, I think they just confirmed this recently, where part one's going to be the build-up to Infinity War, and then part two's just going to be Infinity War, where, it, it, like, Thanos shows up and, you know, starts wrecking shit. Uh, and I, I hope that's true, because that, that would be nice to have a real big, like, two-hour or whatever build-up, and then... Boom! At the end, Thanos shows up, and then somehow all the Avengers are together again, and you know maybe they're palling around, maybe they're having a party again, like when Ultron shows up, and then Thanos <laughs> just like crashes through. He's like, "Fuck you!" and he rips Vision's uh, <laughs> uh, yellow stone out and puts it on his glove, and he punches Captain America's head off. That'd be dope. Put your pretzels away. We're not Yo, done. I'm trying to. All right. So, um, yeah, like a 9.5. I, I don't know. I might even go up next time I see it, which I'll probably see it again tomorrow. Uh, yeah, no, it was a great movie. and uh, Great movie for great people. And uh, can't wait to see Black Panther. Can't wait to see Doctor Strange. I was hoping maybe for a little Doctor Strange in this somehow, but uh, we didn't get that. Maybe, that would be, yeah, I, I would have to say, though, that would be very strange. Uh, that would be very weird. Go check out the weird trailer for Captain America Civil War. <laughs> Funny shit. But, um, yeah, that's it. 9.5. Uh, that ends the spoiler discussion, too. And uh, Captain America's the best. Peace, everyone. Yo. Mwah, kisses. Give kisses. <laughs>